All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with the Hildebrands. Even though it was a minor fail, but I don't... I... Hi guys, Keith here. Welcome to the video. This is going to be the first in our series of Cooking with the Hilter Brains that we're doing here in the month of May 2020. In this one, we did sort of like a virtual collab with our good friends, the Treasure Hunt Foodies. Hi, James and Kim. We wanted like a simple recipe, something easy that anyone could make. Something with not a lot of ingredients, because I'm not great at cooking either. But anyway, uh, they came up with homemade butter. So we're going to do some homemade butter. Uh, I'm going to show you how we make it, and I'll show you how they made it. Uh, they sh shot a little video, so I'll go ahead and include it here in just a little bit. So you can sort of compare the two. But this is a super simple, super fun recipe. And I think we're going to be uh, having some delicious butter here in a minute. Maybe. <laughs> and just to give you a little background on James and Kim, they uh, they have a food channel. It's called the Treasure Hunt Foodies. And what they do is they, they'll do cooking sometimes and they'll do like, uh, they'll go out to like restaurants and stuff like that. They're from the South. I think Louisiana, they're around that area. And they go out and explore and eat all kinds of different foods at all these restaurants. It's, uh, it'll make you hungry. I'm just saying that. Like, don't watch it hungry because you're going to get even hungrier if you watch that channel. <laughs> but anyway. All right. Well, let's uh, get into the cooking because this is going to be relatively simple. Fingers crossed. All right. And when I say simple, this is all you're going to need, literally. Just a quarter teaspoon of salt. Two cups of uh, heavy cream. We got heavy whipping cream. We didn't like order it, but we're in this weird time right now and it's hard to get certain things. So I think they swapped us out for heavy cream for heavy whipping cream. And the internet tells me it'll be fine, but we'll see. They uh, supposedly have the same amount of milk fat and things like that in them, but we're going to see how this does. So hopefully it's not a fail, but we'll see. And then a blender because we got to blend this until... The butter separates from the cream. Anyway, what I'm going to do real fast is I'm going to send you down to James and Kim and they'll uh, walk you through. She actually made some cornbread with it too. I don't think we're doing the cornbread. We're just doing the butter today, but I'll let you uh, watch their video and learn about why the butter was important and special to, to Kim specifically. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll make our butter and we'll see... <laughs> See how it does. But enjoy James and Kim. See you in a second. So this is a fun collab that we did. Something our grandmother would have taught us or something home cooked. We decided to do my grandmother's homemade butter and cornbread. Yeah. Yeah, that's like cornbread and butter goes yeah. together. We put everything, everything, butter on everything. So yeah. you only need one ingredient. Right. Cream. It's very delicious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We use a little mixer. Blender. You don't know what food it is. Food processor. <laughs> Say it again. We don't know what it is. A small food processor. My grandmother actually used an old butter churn. Literally. Oh, that's that's butter. Three minutes and 45 seconds. So the byproduct is the buttermilk. So now we have to get the buttermilk separate from the the butter itself. There's the buttermilk. This is the messy part. This is the messy part. You want to get all the buttermilk, the milk product, out of the butter. You just squeeze it slightly. So you want to squeeze as much as you can of the milk out, the buttermilk out. Now we're going to salt ours a little because we're going to use this with our corn and buttermilk and things like that. So we just sprinkle it and we just fold it, fold it, and okay. And this is our butter. This cream has a lot of fat content in it. it the more fat in it, the more butter you're gonna make. We're gonna use the butter. We're gonna use the milk as a byproduct. We're gonna make some cornbread. Mix the eggs with the buttermilk. Sweet buttermilk, fresh eggs, 
nice and creamy like that. Mm, looking good. The skillet is screaming hot. It's nice and hot. The butter's hot. The reason you do that, it will make the a nice brown crust on the on the cornbread. Look at that. Is it ready? Oh yeah, it's ready. So I put butter on the corn, the rice, flavored a little oil and butter on the ch grilled chicken, and of course butter on the cornbread. Mm, perfectly. Perfectly salted, creamy, everything you want. Okay, so after a near fail with the first go round of this, I think the whipping cream is not the right way to go to this. Um, however, um, and also don't use a mixer, use a food processor because it actually, our stuff turned out a lot more buttery when we use the food processor. But you know how like you get margarine and it's like this really light whippy uh, texture? That's actually what ours turned into, and I tried it, and it's actually pretty good. It's like a light whipped butter. So here's what ours looks like. As you can see, it's very whippy. It's not very buttery looking, but trust me, when you taste it, it tastes very buttery. So I think we made whipped butter. <laughs> which I'm gonna count as a win for us. But you guys saw how James and Kim did it. So I would suggest heavy cream, not whipping cream, and use a food processor for my experience. Unless you want whipped butter because that actually tastes really good. It was gonna be, it's probably gonna be really nice on like toast and things like that, I think. We're gonna stick it in the fridge and let it chill up a little bit and see how it does, but. I'm going to say we did good on our whipped butter, <laughs> even though that's not how we, we, we intended this video to go, but I, th I think it still turned out real well. So just want to say thanks a lot to James and Kim, Treasure Hunt Foodies. Check out their channel. I'll link it up here. Uh, go check them out. They have a, actually I'll link their video up here that they did so you can see like the full video of them making their butter and cornbread and uh, you should go check that out. But anyway, we had a great time doing this virtual collab and uh, hope to do more in the future. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with the Hildebrands, even though it was a minor fail, but I don't, I, it kind of turned out nice, I think. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Don't, don't click away, though. I see you. I see you. Make sure you stick around just for a few more seconds till you get to the end card and watch another video for us. We'd really appreciate that. Also, make sure you uh, drop a comment down below. Let us know if you tried making butter and how that went for you. Any pointers you might have for us the next time. Um, I think um, I think if we used the heavy cream, it would have been good. <laughs> but <laughs> you live and you learn. Actually, it's just what the grocery store gave us in the pickup, you know, in this t crazy time we're in. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and end it now. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to us and Treasure Hunt Foodies. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love.